Hey, what's up? So I got a two-part fishing video today because I didn't think either one could be a video by itself alone. So first day is us walleye fishing, and then the next day is us bass fishing, but really just turned into us catching tons of big pike and ended up eating one and cooking one up. So I hope you enjoy the video. Ain't caught anything yet? What the hell's going on? Something. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. What is that? Ugh. Disgusting. Yeah, nasty. I caught a few of them myself, so. Just have your buddy take it off for you. See how good a buddy he is. See what a good buddy he is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sharp knife. <laughs> I don't see him jumping right at it. I can tell you that one. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, see what a good buddy he is. Yeah, yeah, see what a good buddy he is. Shown. Minnows out. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is that? It looks like a resident walleye, doesn't it? Whatever it is, it looks cool as hell. <laughs> I just missed one right before that, too. Oh wow, all the way down. Oh, I think it came off. On the way down, I had one. There we go. You hooked up too? Way <laughs> back. Oh, no. Really? That's funny. Way fast to make me a YouTube star? Yeah. Keeper. Snag there. This feels more like a fish. <laughs> Definitely is. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Saved your uh, <laughs> saved your minnow too. Oh yeah. Thanks. Try it underneath them. Want me to get it? Nope. <laughs> that was a great yeah. effort. Great <laughs> Getting a little salty. No, no, I'm running two rods now, so it, it got a little harder to just reel up and head over. Several hours later. All right, time to re reel this one in. He's legal. Good. Yep, he's legal. Forgot to have the camera rolling though. But there's the first of the day. Fish on. There we go. That was our problem, we just had to find them. Fish back here? These guys are in that too. <laughs> Why are the fish in here? Yep. I got one. Is that 
That's a nice one. Woo yeah, it's a good one. You better look out, Shad. We're coming for you. Come here. I hope you do. I hope I do too. He was completely pressure hooked too. Did you see that? He came out race right when he got in the net. And that was one of those. I got another one. <laughs> I got that, that's okay. So unfortunately, GoPro died, but did secure another one. Oh boy, that's not good. That'll be fine. Now we found a couple. There's another one. So it's all right that I didn't get the last one. I got this one. I just pull out the buzzer beater. I got another. No wonder I don't catch anything. I'm too busy back here now. Thank you. Break, <laughs> somebody else catch. Passed, you, yeah. Didn't catch a fish for the first three hours and I've caught five in like 25 minutes. That's another keeper. Man, does he look little though? Fish on? Yeah, I got him. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> nice net job. Well, it was partially my fault. <laughs> it's all good. Still another fish in the boat. You can uh, cook it twice. I, we should be at 13 right now. Yeah. I haven't fit, fished next to you yet today. Mm -hmm. Got one? A good one. <laughs> Got one on. There we go. Where's that net at? I'm killed.
Oh, oh are you okay? Said what happened? To get over there. He just keep. He just uh, came on top of the water. Oh, I thought you were like fell, and then I was like, oh. what made you fall? <laughs> Hooked him again, huh? Here, I'll get the net. Let me net this one for you. I can't see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can see him coming up right now. <laughs> this thing just isn't swimming though it is weird as hell it's out of tune i think oh yeah it's just out of tune This thing actually dives a pretty good distance. Yeah. And for the first couple of times I threw it, I was like, oh, this thing's worthless. Good. That's your berry. Holy, <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, Jesus. Oh my nice goodness. Bike. Nobody wants it. Oh! Ben does. <laughs> oh! I don't know if that's big enough for those. <laughs> I, got, I got a big pair of pliers for you if you need them. He inhaled that thing. I mean, inhaled. I can't believe I, I got to take that thing off. Oh, Where is it? it? It's in there. Uh, hand me those pliers right there, will you, Ben? Those are so stiff I can't even operate them. I got it. He, he can get it from here. Hopefully he doesn't take my hand off. <laughs> How did he not break, cut this thing off? Can you move your hand up just a little bit for me, thanks. There we go, got it out. Thank you. Let him get a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. quick because he's a slimy son of a <laughs> oh that was uh, shit and here you go it's already done so let's get a wow. picture of you we're gonna need to wet down that yeah. nice. god bless america see he still likes catching big fish like that oh yeah i'd love to snag a couple of those i'm actually gonna get back in the water just because of that <laughs> you know technically that was 24 inches what? Oh, you want to, you want to keep it? <laughs> you can eat it. I, I was actually kind of expecting you to say, I'll take it. It's it's one of those things that I'd like to do under my own license, you know, or I want to do it myself. Yeah. I've come this far. I've want I've been. I don't know if you know this, Terry, but I've been wanting to try pike for about two years now. Oh yeah. And every time I've had the chance, something has happened where I wasn't able to either one. It was 23 inches or two lost it like right at the boat didn't have my you know drag set something weird happens every time so i'm just waiting one of these days that's why i want to go to canada so bad and catch some well, when I say sheep, that's really good too. what you got oh that looks like a small mouth nice. nope. little pike. Really? another little pike Damn. it's not fighting like one no it's a pike uh, they like your. Very good. I'm trying to get him in the net. I realize that they like your rattle trap, though. No, I, I switched just. Uh... I need to start throwing whatever you're throwing. Oh. Yeah, I think he's out, he's out of the net now. Here, I'm moving the net away from you. Yes, sir.
I got one. Got one? Oh yeah, it's another pike. Yeah, it's another pike. This one might be going in a in a pot. Oh, that's a real pretty one too. Nice. Thank you. You guys didn't know I'd bring you up pike fishing. Yeah, this is awesome. I don't mind this. I brought a big bobber. Yeah. Did he unhook himself? Oh no, he broke my he broke my bait. Literally? Yeah, he broke it. See? These are worthless. <laughs> All they're good for. Got the release. Where is God dang, he did. Sorry. My That's bad. okay. I kinda bought these lures for pretty much dollar amount. Did fish you in twenty four inches? Yes. He's twenty five probably. If he's if he's 24, he's going to a live well. I'd have a blast of the day just catching these over and over again. He's over 26. 26? Yep. So this is the pike that we kept today. That cool. Mm -hmm. And full disclaimer, I have never filleted a pike before in my life. So I've watched a couple videos and I'm gonna go with how I think is the best way to do it. And I'm just gonna follow what I think is the backbone. From what I heard, they don't have backbones fish. Poking through right here. Okay, I can see why now they just cut through there. Holy cow. So I see now why people cut through the rib rib cage it's because you can't really run it down a backbone but there's one fillet off and then from what I saw after this you just take out the rib bones there's a big bee right there there's a big bee oh my god Ben it's huge oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Do you see it? No. It flew away. Mm. It's a fat one. So I truly thought I was going to butcher this in the beginning, but once you take out the uh, rib cage, and it says that you can, or uh, from the videos I watched, you can see the Y bones, which you can right along here. And what you do is you just run down them until you hit the, until you hit when they turn horizontal. Then once you get there, you flatten your knife out. But yeah, then it looks like once you get it all the way down to the skin, you can see the bones right there. You just cut on the other side. All the way down the bloodline. And it looks like right there you can cut it off. <laughs> oh my god, that's coming over here. And then once you cut all of this meat out right here, it looks like that's all the wide bones you're left with. And then you just repeat on the other side, I guess. So I told myself I was gonna wait, but I decided I cannot. All I did was I took a little bit of that uh, pike, I saved the rest of it uh, for some friends and families to try it as well. Just cut it up into little pieces, made sure there was absolutely no bones in it whatsoever. And what I'm gonna do is make poor man's lobster.
So what you're gonna wanna do is, and you're gonna wanna follow like this ratio, is you're gonna do two to three cups water, and then you're gonna do a cup of sugar. And then other ways to do this is just uh, boil a pot of Sprite or 7-Up. <clears throat> I heard that works as well, but this is the only way I've ever done it. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. And then once you get all that in there, you're gonna just take it to a boil, and then you're gonna boil these for about five minutes, five to eight minutes, I'd say. And then the last step to this whole process is just to get a little bit of butter and melt it down in the microwave. And don't let this overflow like that. All right, now that we got that pot to a rolling ball, we're just gonna start adding some fish. And I think I can make them all fit. All right, so there's probably many ways that you can spice this up, but I'm just keeping it real simple because it's my first time ever having pike. So I'm just gonna try it plain first and then with the butter. Yeah. I can see why they call that poor man's lobster. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.